In this video we show how you can create a UX component uh, that allows you to select a PDF file to view by making a selection from a list control. So you can see that uh, we have running here in the mobile simulator um, a UX component that has a list control on the left hand side with a list showing the um, available PDF files and on the right hand side we're actually going to display the different PDF files depending on what um, item in the list the user clicked on. So what we actually have in this uh, UX component here is um, a, a layout control with a panel on the left that contains the list and a panel on the right that contains the uh, PDF file. So now let's go back to the builder and see how this was achieved. So let's go back here and we can see now here's our two panels. There's the first panel card over there that contains the list and our second panel card that um, is uh, actually empty but if we look at this panel card here we can see that we've changed its type from the default to an iframe so this panel card on the right hand side is actually um, an iframe and uh, because the panel card type has been set to iframe as opposed to putting a an iframe control which we could have done we could have gone here and chosen an iframe control and put uh, the iframe control inside the panel card the difference is that because the panel card itself has been set to a type of iframe, this iframe is going to automatically fill the entire panel card. Whereas if I had chosen the iframe option here, I would have had to give an explicit size uh, to the iframe. And then it would be difficult to get the iframe to fill the panel uh, card, especially on an orientation change. So next, let's go take a look at how this list was defined. So here's my list control. And we can see that this list control is just a simple list based on a static data source that has two columns. It has a name column and a file column. So this is the description of the PDF and this is the actual physical PDF file that has been published into the web route. So um, here are my PDF files that I'd like to display and then there's the description. And then you can see that on the list layout we've only chosen to display the name of the uh, uh, of the PDF so we're not displaying the physical file name then let's go to list events and look at the on click event you can see here in the on click event we're going to read the file name of the PDF file from the current row that was clicked so you can see the syntax we use here is this dot selection data zero which means that this is the uh, first selected row because remember that lists can be configured to allow multiple rows to be selected but in this case the list only has one selectable row so this is always going to be this dot selection data zero so this is appointed to the current rows data and then dot file is the field name that we want to read so this syntax is explained over here when you click more help you can see there for example is the syntax has been explained over there and then we're just going to call a, a javascript function that we're going to write called show pdf and this JavaScript function we're going to pass into it the file name of the PDF file that we'd like to display. So now let's go and look at our JavaScript. So we go now to our JavaScript and the first thing that we want to do is we want to get a pointer to panel card number two uh, body section. So recall that uh, the panel card where we'd like to display the PDF is called panel card number two. So here we go. So we're going to get a pointer. So uh, panel get ID says uh, get the ID uh, of the body part of panel card 2. So now that we have the body, p uh, the ID of that, we can now uh, get a pointer to that ID by saying dollar sign ID and then we just set the source property to the file name that was passed in because recall that this element here has uh, is an iframe because we, specific we specifically said that panel card 2 was an iframe. So let's pause now and see how we can make this into more appropriate for a smaller mobile device where panel card 2 is not always visible. So now that we've explained how the uh, show PDF function works we can go to live preview now and view it in live preview. We'll switch to say a uh, larger form factor here. Click on customer list and we can see now that the, um, uh, the basically the um, uh, PDF now is uh, displayed um, over there. I should point out that that you cannot preview this in working preview because the ability to display uh, PDFs in this iframe in working preview is blocked by Internet Explorer's um, 
security um, protocols um, since um, working preview does not allow you to uh, display data in an iframe that does not come from an external uh, address. So let's go back now and decide how we can uh, change this design here so that it's appropriate for say a phone uh, for a phone. So we'll go back to controls here and we'll change this panel layout from a panel layout to a panel navigator. So now we have a panel navigator and what we'd like to do is change the panel navigator from a carousel to programmatic and then what we want to do is uh, put a, um, a header um, on uh, this panel card and another header on this panel card over here. So now we've got two panel uh, two um, headers. Then in the panel card that displays the um, uh, PDF, we'd like to put a back button. So let's go there and put a back button that says um, back, and we'll change the sub theme to left. And uh, then over here, we'll just put in some static text which says um, uh, PDF display and we'll go to the container and we'll uh, center that. And now um, the final thing that we need to do is in the JavaScript we need to uh, specify that when we click on a row in the list we want to give focus to panel card number two and that the back button needs to go back to panel card number one. So let's go and define the back button's action first. So we'll go here and say add action panel. So there's, there we go and we want to set focus so we want to set active panel to uh, panel card number one. And if we just view the JavaScript here, let's just copy that JavaScript there so we can just paste it uh, later on. So copy that to the clipboard, uh, close, save, and now go to our JavaScript over here. And so now when the user clicks on a, an item, what we want to also do is set focus to panel card number two. So let's save this now and uh, do a mobile preview. So we'll go there now and we'll preview it. And so here's our, our preview and uh, we'll click on say customer summary and there's our customer summary. Click back, let's click on invoice now. There's our invoices. Go to products by vendor and there's our products by vendor. So you can see how, how we've used the list control uh, and uh, a panel that has been configured as an iframe to uh, quickly dis uh, create a PDF viewer uh, mobile application. Thank you very much for watching.